Hi, I'm Joanna Nethery, I'm one of the co-owners of Five March Restaurant. This is our flagship restaurant just at the bottom of the Foothill 2 Park Circus. And we're taking part in Play Up for Glasgow this year. It actually encapsulates quite a lot of what we believe in at Five March anyway. When we opened three years ago, we opened with uh, kind of the ethos very much of sustainability and kind of green practice. I think if you're opening a new, new company, it's a lot easier to put these things into practice from the start rather than try and retrospectively fit them into a pre-existing framework. So before we opened, we considered things like the air miles on our wine list and the locality of our suppliers. So with Plate Up, it's actually quite convenient because it's quite an easy project for us in terms of the fact that we already do a lot of the things that we've, we're kind of talking about practicing kind of already in place. The ethos of the food is essentially my experience in kitchens, in 20 years I cook what I like to cook and I like to cook what I like to eat. Um, that's really the ethos beside it, there's not really any gimmicks to it. Local sourcing is, is important, um, it kind of comes hand in hand with the job, it is, it's a key part of what we do here, an enjoyable part of what we do here as well. Favourite local supplier would definitely be Davidson's, our butcher. We've been with them three or four years. They're always available to us. At the end of the phone call, they've got great products and yeah, just all around, all around good guys. Operating sustainably is important to us and we, we use a lot of different techniques here to sort of help out with that where we can. We pickle, we ferment, we use not weird and wonderful ingredients, but we use stuff that's maybe not used on a regular basis in other places, you know, um, for example, we've got Gurnadon at SWG3, which is, it used to just be thrown back, and we've got the whole fish on, and uh, it's a great product. Our special dish at SWG3 for a cop is, we have a beetroot tartare, we basically use the entire beetroot. We pickle it, we roast it, we ferment it, we, have, we make a powder, so it's, it's a play with the ingredient, also showcases the beetroot's versatility and hopefully, yeah, hopefully people will like it. Due to COVID over the last 20 months, everything has been absolutely insane. Um, we had to start doing a dine at home service, which was intensely difficult. Um, I don't think chefs necessarily have the temperament to be asked to put a hundred tiny things into tiny tubs and then <laughs> colour code them all, which is what we asked them to do. It was a big task, but thankfully it kind of afforded us the awareness that when the world did reopen, we were kind of still visible on socials and in this scene. Um, we were less than two years old when we went into lockdown, so there was a huge risk for us to just be forgotten. Um, so it was a really big push on marketing to try and make sure that we came out the other side on top. I think one of the best things about Glasgow's food and drink scene is the number of independents involved. Unlike a lot of other cities where you have to have millions to open a restaurant, it's certainly still quite an expensive game to play here, but you can have the opportunity to actually um, to trial something without having to potentially risk the rest of your life paying it off. Um, I think because of that, Glasgow has the ability to have a very diverse food scene and that many people, kind of norm normal people, can afford to give it a shot. <laughs>